talking about Chinese cities that have often shown up in Hollywood movies, Shanghai must be the first one that comes to mind. Shanghai is not only a major metropolis, but also a city of future. And the Pudong New Area is on its way to becoming a pioneer area for socialist modernization. Today, let's go experience one day living in Pudong. This is a quiet neighborhood in Pudong. It was built in 1997 with over 3,500 households. But it was not always like this. In the past, residents often had disputes over parking and other issues in the community. Now, with the establishment of the Neighborly Services Center, disputes can be dealt with in a better and quicker way. The community services center exercises self-governance at the grassroots level. It collects residents' opinions, holds democratic consultation meetings, and makes rational decisions by majority. We have a community member, a community member, a community member, and a community member. We have to talk about it. We have to talk about it. We have to talk about it. Besides providing a platform to manage public affairs and mediate disputes, the center also provides public services to residents. Doctors are invited here to provide free consultation for residents once in a while. There are also some self-serve medical devices to monitor your health. There are also places for kids to learn and play. During the weekend and summer break, there are extracurricular activities for kids and even classes for new parents. Now in Pudong, there are a total of 1,308 community services centers just like this one. In the future, Pudong aims to build a 15-minute service circle. That means you can get all the daily services you need within 15 minutes walk in a mega city like Shanghai. That's amazing, right? If the neighborly services centers are the neurons of Pudong managing each neighborhood, then this is the brain. This is Pudong's City Operation and General Management Center. It oversees everything that's happening in the public areas of Pudong. We can see that numerous stats on this screen keep changing as if monitoring the vital signs of the district. The stats covering every aspect of the district's operation, including public security, environmental protection, natural resources, infrastructure and transportation, and emergency response. There are also over 57 preset scenarios for faster spotting and smart handling. Is the garbage sorted correctly? Are the shared bikes parked in order? Is the construction dust under the threshold? The system is making urban governance smarter, more refined, and more efficient. Groundbreaking technologies have been used in the management of the city and public space. Will they also be adopted in everybody's home in the future? Right now, we are at an exhibition for Huawei's smart car solutions. The tech giant Huawei has said multiple times that they don't make cars, but they help car makers to build good cars. What does that mean? Let's go find out. Huawei has partnered with a lot of car makers to empower their electric vehicles with ICT technologies. It offers solutions focusing on five aspects. 
smart driving, smart cockpit, intelligent network, intelligent electrification, and cloud services. We can see that over here there is a really cool looking car. Let's go inside and try it.